Hello everyone and welcome back to the Law of Brian Fagan. I'm Brian Fagan and today we're delving into a concerning issue that arises far too often. Parents attempting to avoid child support obligations through strategic employment decisions. It's a complex topic and today we'll explore the legal implications, real life scenarios, and the strategies to navigate this challenging situation. I've encountered numerous cases where parents attempt to dodge their child support responsibilities using various excuses and threats. From claiming financial hardships to threatening full custody battles, these tactics often stem from a lack of understanding how Texas family law operates. Today we're focusing on a specific strategy, quitting the job or intentionally changing employment to reduce child support obligations. The premise is straightforward. Some parents intentionally underemploy themselves or quit their jobs hoping to reduce their child support payments. The logic is that they're making less money, they'll pay less in child support. However, this can be a risky, ineffective strategy, and I'll explain why. Let me share a real life scenario I've encountered where a parent consciously chose to underemploy themselves to avoid potential child support orders. We'll discuss the legal consequences and how Texas family law addresses such situations. It's crucial to understand that quitting a job does not automatically relieve a parent of their child support obligations. If child support order is in place, the obligation continues. Seeking a modification is an option, but it's not an automatic process and the timeline can be lengthy. We'll explore the complexities of modifying child support orders and the role the Attorney General plays in these cases. Now let's dive into the legal aspect of intentional underemployment as covered by Texas Family Code 154.066. This statute allows a court to consider the earning potential rather than the actual income if the obligor's income is significantly less due to intentional unemployment or underemployment. In the case of Ilyev versus Ilyev, the Texas Supreme Court clarified the interpretation of this statute. It highlighted the intent to avoid child support needs to be proven for the court to apply the support guidelines based on the earning potential. However, the court can consider intent along with any other relevant factors in its analysis. The best interest of the child remains primary in all situations. If you suspect your ex is attempting to manipulate their income intentionally to lower child support, it is crucial for you to contact an attorney. Legal professionals can guide you through the process, protect your child's best interest, and ensure fair resolution. We'll discuss the steps you can take and the importance of proactive legal action. In conclusion, attempting to quit a job to avoid child support is a risky strategy with legal consequences. If you found this information helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe to our channel for more legal insights, and share your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Remember that knowledge is power, especially in navigating family law matters. Thank you for joining us today. Until next time, take care. Thanks for tuning in to the end. We understand that divorce can be expensive depending on the situation. That's why we're offering our do-it-yourself Texas divorce e-course. You can get access to this e-course by clicking on the link in the description below. Catch you in the next video.